I gotta wake up early to go to some lavender festival, guys. Stop you, smoking the lav. You said that. I still don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds made up. Lavender. <laughs> In the lavender place. Look, I'm gonna just, like, post it right here. Okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> Morty. I'm not ready, and I'm leaving. See ya, oh. fuckers. Whatever, Cloud. I'll see you next week. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting lavender festival. Brian? Yeah. I think we got good footage today. I think so, too. And by we, I mean you, because I need to still set up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, come on, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll do it. I swear. He won't do it. <laughs> I'm do it, right do at it right now. All you have to do is plug Find it in. Children under 12 and are free. Oh, wow. I got Lord of Candy. What? How did I get that? Alright, here's my personal the channel. Player icon, guys. The player icon. I'm the Lord of Candy. <laughs> Don't share pictures of kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lavender festival. It's going to be you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so right now I have three regular gameplay videos up on my personal channel. And then Onion Squad has... I thought you were going to change the name to Little Bits. Yeah, I'm doing that. Like, I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> Why didn't it add it to the playlist? What the fuck? Oh shit! Which one? Yeah, the, this la this latest one's pretty funny because like there's like a twist with like Casey at the end. It's got the uh, it's got the melee combo video where Casey gets wrecked. I saw it's been, that. It's been used in every <laughs> single like combo video by the guy that like beat him. And uh, the guy's the best player in Michigan too. It's so funny. It's really funny. Rob, what? What do you think of this desk? <clears throat> what desk? Um, check uh, Discord. Hang on, I'm in Skyrim. Really? What? Really what? You're in Skyrim. Yeah, I'm playing Skyrim now. I, I feel like that one's too small. Oh, the the desk I have. Yeah, it looks small. Yeah, it looks really small. Like, yeah, mine looks, looks bigger like than that, and mine's pretty small. Yeah. This looks too small. But this foot hammock, though. <laughs> Can't you just buy a foot hammock? No, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> it's ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I had some kind of portable device that would, like, let me video edit, you know? What? I said I wish I had some kind of portable <laughs> device that let me, like, video edit, you know? Who? I said I wish I had some kind of portable device that could let me video edit, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just say that the first time? Gosh. <laughs> I was trying. Uh, God, I just want Splatoon to come out. What the fuck? It came out today. No, it didn't. I was even wrong about no. that. It comes out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Splatoon comes out tomorrow? The demo. Oh, it's the demo. Yeah. Demo of Splatoon. But only for like three hours or something, so I won't be able to do it. Yeah. It's like a four hour demo. I don't Jake even know. Do you have a Switch? What? Yeah. Jake has a Switch? Why haven't you yeah. added us? So I don't know who you are. <laughs> I, I friended you just, on Facebook, I think. Let me just boot it up, did you? I don't use Facebook. Wait, what? Who did I friend? Well, yeah, probably, <laughs> <laughs> probably me. If you couldn't tell by the profile picture, well, I'm not actually 14, but I think that's me when I was 14. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> that very well may be. <laughs> well, now i got to boot mine up. I'll add you as a friend, too. We'll be best friends forever. Best pals. All and I, I have, can... a, I've got oh. like Breath of the Wild and <laughs> just could talk right over you. Yeah. Breath of the Wild and uh, you're good. Mario Kart. I don't have any you arms. Can play Mario Kart. Arms is pretty fun. 
I don't know if I could justify sixty dollars, but definitely forty or fifty. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't I wasn't convinced enough to just grab it. I kind of want to see what it do. I guess it's pretty hard to do. like to like get <laughs> into because like the controls are really fucking hard. Like you just feel ridiculous trying to like hit things. It looks like one of the things where it's almost like motion controls are required. Is that what it really is? No, like, it's about right. even. Like, there's people that have climbed a rank, like top rank, with motion controls, and then people that are top rank with just button <clears throat> controls. So, like, I mean, it's pretty much the same. It's honestly surprising how close they are. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Because, like, Splatoon, I'm pretty sure, like, it was, like, entirely, um, motion controls was decided to be, like, the better method. So, so wait, can you... I mean... Can you get this game, like, for 40 bucks somewhere? Right. Yeah, right. I mean, if you have, like, a Best Buy thing or whatever... Um, oh, you have you to get, get, like, one of those. I, mean, like, I wonder if I can redeem Nintendo points. Or, or no, they don't do it for the Switch yet. No, yeah. Um, Wait, what's, your, uh, what's your friend code? I don't know, I'm looking for it. I really wish... Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. All right, you guys ready? Got a pen and a piece of paper. Why don't I'm you ready. just, like, put it on Discord? <laughs> Oh yeah, sure, I guess. Okay, well, I'll just type it in as you go. Yeah, just okay. say it out loud. Easier. It's SW. S. S. Yeah, S. S as in Look, it's Shirley. fine. Like, it says enter the 12 digits that follow SW, so... Oh. Keep going. 6610. <laughs> 9061. Got him. Got him. Great. Luigi. Send request received. Yeah, that's me. Luigi. That's still me. I like how you picked Star Fox, Karoon. I changed it. Oh, wait, you changed it? <laughs> yeah. What'd you change it to? Tom. It's T Nook. What are you talking about? It's still showing up as Star Fox for me. Oh, no, dude. Tom Nook. You, you need to do an update. Brian. What? It says you've been yeah. offline for six days. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about Nook's cranny. Come on. Uh, he's playing the Binding of Isaac right now. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it does say you were online six days ago. Oh, me? Yeah. I don't know why. I'm online right now. I I'm just added update. you. Only only Brian's online. I, I, <laughs> I hit update also, and Karoon, it still says you're offline, and it's still showing me Star Fox. That's funny. Weird. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not really working. Is it because I'm not playing any games right now? Is that why? I don't know. Is your Wi-Fi on? Yeah. What does it say for me? Online. Just, Legend of Zelda: Breath online. of the Wild. <laughs> All right, I am playing that. Since I have two friends online, Finding of Isaac and Legend of Zelda. What's my icon? Uh, you Splatoon, have squid. yeah, Splatoon dude. It's pretty good. I just want to buy know. games from the eShop. But at the same time... <laughs> you the ones that are already on Steam? Well, like, I mean... a lot of them I wanted to buy on the Switch because I end up playing portable mode more than, like, at my computer. No, yeah, yeah I get it. So, like, that's kind of why. So I haven't even bought them on Steam, even though, like, they're, like, half price. Are you guys going to get WWE? No. <laughs> sure. Is that on here? I'm I'm more looking it's coming at out. <laughs> looking at Cars Three Driven to Win. <laughs> yeah, I actually thought about buying it. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> I was like, I could be <laughs> driven to win. <laughs> it, I mean, the screenshots make it look really good, but you know, they already got they've got Gatling guns. Why? Yeah, like damn. Why is the tow truck just blowing uh, that guy up? I got Mighty Gunvolt Burst. I bought Cave Story. I kind of regret that. Is it not good? It's a short game. It's like six hours. It's pretty good, though. But it yeah, is short. But, but like, I mean, <coughs> it, okay. So I wouldn't feel as bad if it wasn't, like, the 4 3 release of it. Yeah. <laughs> is there a way 
to keep yourself logged into the store the whole time or no? No. That's really annoying. Yeah. What do you mean? But you have to like you have to enter your in. password every time. I don't. What? Oh, hang on. Password entry settings. I, oh, I think you... I set it up because I didn't want people like buying shit immediately. Oh. Because like I wish they'd like do password before purchase instead of password before like store. You can. Wait, what? Yeah, password entry settings. Starting Nintendo eShop, enter password or skip password. Using saved credit card info, enter password or skip password. Where is this at? <laughs> I think... Go to your icon in the top right when you're in the store. Okay. Now what? And it's one of the options there. Uh, oh, you scroll down. Okay. I can deactivate this console? Why is that so close to, like, everything else? <laughs> it's easy, yeah. <laughs> this right there, isn't it? What happens if you deactivate it? <laughs> I don't you know. Oh. I wonder what happens. <laughs> you can only use software and downloadable content from the Nintendo eShop on the active console for the this Nintendo account. Oh, just so it just moves your Nintendo account around, I guess. Yeah, oh. inactive an inactive console cannot be used to purchase or play software from the. <sighs> I was gonna buy a second Switch, but the only thing holding me back was like the lack of cloud like save functionality, and the what? fact that it, you know, why? Bu why? why buy a second one? Because <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. gonna buy like another dock, and it's like ninety dollars for the dock set. <laughs> Oh, what is this game? Implosion? Yeah, it actually has really high reviews. I was thinking of buying that, too. Oh, it looks kind of cool. Yeah. Hey, it... that guy's name is Jake, and he's level 12. <laughs> it's not this one. Do you guys see Day, Day Mambo? That's supposed to be, like, Smash Bros-esque. No. Oh, there it is. It's spicy action. I don't know if I can handle it. That. <laughs> That's my favorite kind of action. <laughs> that looks pretty weird. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I haven't bought it yet. <laughs> how many? How many people could play Arms? Uh, four. Four. Yeah. Guys, look at. Ocean Horn, Monster of Uncharted Seas. Yeah, I heard it was Ocean. that good. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I, I really hope that they don't uh, botch this. I'm kind of hoping for some decent releases here. Like, they've announced a ton of amazing titles, and they're supposed to come out before the end of summer, so... A lot of those are indies. Like, the dumb thing about the Switch is that the games that I'm interested in are <laughs> fighting games, indie games, <laughs> and, like, retro 8-bit looking indie games. Like Minecraft Story Mode? No. The complete <laughs> like adventure. Mighty Gunvolt Burst and, like, Shovel Knight again. I bought Shovel Knight on every platform. <laughs> it's just... is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Blaster Master? What's that? That's supposed to be pretty good from what I heard. Oh, it kind of looks like Metroid. It's uh, not entirely. Like, it's not a Metroidvania. It's more like an action platformer. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. I'll just make my sister drive the whole way up to the there Lavender Fest. Yeah, there you go, Brian. Good call. It's like an hour drive, and then I can play my Switch. But yeah, I'm again, sure she'll be okay with that. She doesn't, like, drive, so, like, I might just, like, die. <laughs> but at least you're playing your Switch. Yeah, like, I mean, it'd be a good death. I, last thing I see would probably be my <laughs> Switch. <laughs> Uh, like, that makes me sick. I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> what car rides? Oh, like... plate. Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, my mom can't either. It's kind of. I. I don't know the reason why. 
I think I read it on... Uh, yeah, I know that, but I don't know what, like, causes it. Like, it's the science behind it. Your eyes see something stationary, but the inner hair in your ear is moving because of vibrations. Yeah, that's stuff. the right. So you're got hairy ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So... Shave your ears, Jake. <laughs> so the, your brain just thinks you're poisoned. And it yeah. needs to throw up to get I it out. I feel poison when it do it, definitely. This one time I ate, like, bad potatoes, and I felt like I was poisoned. So Probably I fell asleep. It's called food poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, that's not, like, real poisoning. Like, you're not trying to kill somebody with food poisoning. Well, I mean, you could. People might. But, like, you know, most people don't. Sure. <laughs> So, yeah, anyway, I, I, like, woke up real early. I was like, ah, what a great morning. And, like, I made breakfast and everything, and I was like, I'm really looking forward to this breakfast. Sounds like the beginning of some kind of, like, Disney movie. It was. (laughs) So, like, I made it, and uh, I was like, oh, fuck yeah, like, eggs and potatoes. This is great. And then, like, I was just, like, laying on the couch watching TV, and I was like, huh, like... (laughs) <laughs> is that, like, pain in my stomach? Or, like, am I, like, too full? Because, like, I made, like, quite a bit. So I was, like, laying uh, on the couch for, like, a half hour trying to decide whether or not, like, I actually <laughs> had food poisoning. And I was like, what? I wonder what food poisoning would, like, feel like, I mean, if I ate bad potatoes. Because everything else I just bought fresh from the store. So <laughs> I was, like... I googled it, and it's like, um, like, immediate, like, stomach pain, you'll start to feel nauseous, uh, you know, the whole works, and, uh, like, I was like, oh, fuck. (laughs) So as soon as I read that, like, it kicked in, and, like, I was just, like, tossing it for, like, an hour. God. What were you tossing? (laughs) My breakfast. (laughs) (laughs) And, Seth? uh, <laughs> when you started the story, I didn't think you were even going to get that far. I thought you were just going to like look at your food, bleh, like right on your, no, yeah, it was, it was <laughs> like a solid, food. like half hour. <laughs> and as soon as I Googled it, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, well, at least it didn't say you had cancer or something. <laughs> that no, was further no, down. I, I was, didn't get that far. I looked up the, like, what, what it would feel like to have food poisoning, you know, like not whether or like not I would. Death. Puts in his symptoms, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, <laughs> this was, like, at, like, 9 a.m., and so, like, after, like, just tossing it for a while, like, I passed out on the couch, and I woke up at 10 p.m., and I was like, well, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> there goes my Saturday. <laughs> that sounds awful. Like, that's the worst part of the story. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, fuck, like... Like, I was looking forward to the weekend, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian. Jesus, that's like a nightmare. But surprisingly, Man. like, uh, bad potatoes don't taste any any different than, like, regular potatoes. It's just the after effects. Yeah. Which was kind of shocking, because the other times I got food poisoning, it was like... So you're telling me you didn't, like, pick up that potato, you're like, nah, it's probably fine. Like, That's exactly what happened. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, you know, like they're like wrinkly looking, like you know, uh, it's been like two weeks, you know. Potatoes, they got like a three week <laughs> shelf life, you know, it'll be fine. You ate wrinkly looking potatoes. I thought it'd be fine. Like squishy, he could like. Oh, no, they weren't finger, squishy. Like, they were just like regular looking potatoes, but like kind of wrinkly. <laughs> oh my god! They look Brian. like they've already been microwaved. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's like, it's like maybe like an an edge of it looked wrinkly, and I was like, you know, like these look fine. They look like potatoes, like you know. <laughs> Sure. Oh, <laughs> God, freaking. I had some really horrible potatoes the other day. It's like, man, something in the pantry stinks. And then like four hours later, it's like, man, it still stinks in here. It was the potatoes. Just rotting away down there. Did you eat them? 
No. <laughs> I picked them up and they were leaking. They were like leaking onto the floor. <laughs> yeah, mine weren't that bad. <laughs> He's, there was no doubt in my mind. <laughs> Just look at them. Eh. <laughs> they look fine. They look like potatoes. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> You know, maybe I'd, like, get food poisoning to, like, get a day off work, but, like, at the same time, I could just, like, say I got food poisoning and take the day off work. Mmm. Kaku go. Maybe if I was, like, at work and, like, really need to, like, get out of work, I'd just get food poisoning and then, like, sleep at work. You could just say you have food poisoning and then not actually have it. <laughs> you, need, you need to ask yourself if you would feel worse with food poisoning or <laughs> with the lie. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't feel bad about the lie. <laughs> I used to do that in, like, fourth grade. I figured out that they never really could test if your stomach hurt. Oh, yeah. So, so it's like, every day, like, I used to just say, hey, my stomach hurts, I need to go home. They're like, okay. <laughs> they got, day. Yeah, I got pretty so... bad. My face, yeah, I like, pain, you know. I did something similar with, like, fevers, except it was, like, after coming inside from recess on a hot day. Like, wow, yeah, your body temperature, yeah, you got to go home. Like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Read my mind. <laughs> Get me out of here. <sighs> Guys, I'm having a hard time finding a desk. I'm looking for the one, and I, I don't think I can, I can do it. Just like go to like up. Office Depot and like look at the desks there. I looked at their website. I just... No, like in person, so you'd be like, I want a desk that's shaped like this. No. A desk. <laughs> I was gonna get um, like you know how we have the monitor stands at work. I was gonna do something like that on my desk. That's pretty nice. It's yeah. like a dual monitor stand. Yeah. What? A dual monitor stand? Yeah. yeah my monitors work. The monitors have uh, a pretty big base, so and, and they're kind of like just kind of shoved on here. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like my I have my monitors, my Xbox, my keyboard, and my mouse like right on the edge. Barely have like room. Two Brian... square inches for your mouse. What? Yeah. You get that Xbox? That you're gonna... Yeah, so I bought an Xbox today. 20 bucks. It's a 360. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't own one. <laughs> and I was like, well, an Xbox for 20 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, might as well, I guess. Like, <laughs> I mean, if I ever get There's bored with it, I could there. just take it apart for 20 bucks. I don't know, like, what's the best Xbox 360 game? Um, I don't know. To just, to just play by yourself in a dank basement. <laughs> My uh... basement is pretty good. No, it's gotta be, it's gotta be dank. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I don't wanna say it. <laughs> <laughs> say what, Brian? Who is that dank kid? <laughs> dank kid. He was here for, like, one game of Overwatch, and he kept saying it, and he made me so mad. Are you talking about Kelly? Is that? Is that it? No, I don't think so. Was his is mic it? really shitty? I don't know. But he said dank every two sentences. <laughs> you have to remember that. Um, Was, like, Josh playing, do you know? I have no... It wasn't Josh. No, it wasn't Josh, but maybe Josh it was, has like, a, Josh's has friend. A, yeah, Josh was, has yeah, a, yeah, I think it was Josh's friend. Oh, fuck. I'm still recording. Has Has anyone told Josh <laughs> <laughs> to like his friend? <laughs> Just leave it in. Just leave <laughs> this it footage in. should never see the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> just a secret episode of F House. Just, just bleep it. <laughs> the lost episode. Perfect. Oh, nice. Just bleep it. <laughs> With what? A bleep. Jake, I like how you complimented your own little thing there. What? 
you're like, oh, the last episode, and then like, and the, the three seconds, they're like, yeah, nice. <laughs> to your <laughs> own <laughs> comment. <laughs> I'm just so pleased with that. It turned out so well. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because well, in that in those three seconds, I thought of the uh, the last episode of SpongeBob, and I thought like we could do a last episode of the F House, and here it is. <laughs> it could <I> guess, be. <laughs> <laughs> just replace it with um, the last time I said Cormit, and just play that every time. The guy that keeps saying Cormit. Cormit. <laughs> there you go. Uh, this is why we need a podcast. We could have a podcast. It'd literally just be this. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, you know, a post-game podcast. <laughs> All right, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> post-game wind down. The wind down. That's the name. We need wind down podcast. Currently the picture in the stream is just a koala. Looking straight into the camera. Perfect. And <laughs> Koala Cam One. Ah. What? Oh, you can't yeah. create a room because you don't have any registered friends. <laughs> Loser. Uh, wait, room in what? <laughs> in uh, <laughs> Mario Kart. <laughs> Like I just, I just got friends. You clown! <laughs> <laughs> I want to <laughs> use them. This wants to rub it in your face more. That you just got friends. <laughs> Recently played with poozers. Ah, playing with that guy. I'm fighting against Krampus, guys. Ah, <laughs> like from Don't Starve. No. <laughs> Although he's in that game. This one just looks like Satan. Like from Christmas? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. I had a mouthful of Pepsi, though. This whole thing, <laughs> Binding Isaac. <laughs> uh, your character just starts to look like, like absolute shit as you go on. <laughs> but, like, you just turn a blind eye because you just... You're like, Binding yeah, Isaac... all this is normal. <laughs> Binding of Isaac grosses me out. Yeah, I actually can't believe it's none of it's bothering me right now. Like, <laughs> I think it's a little, a little too much. <laughs> it's definitely too much. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, oh yeah, you know, like dead fetuses. <laughs> like, fuck, man. Yeah, that's yeah. I've, I've, My I've... type of game. Has it been if around the game, for if, yeah, if the gameplay wasn't so addicting, I wouldn't be playing it. <laughs> Why don't they just make like a Diablo 3 cow level version of it? Dude, like if the they made Diablo 3 on Wimsy Switch, Shire. I would just play Diablo 3 all day. It's like my zen game. <laughs> I, already, I already did that for a while. I need a break. Yeah. I did. Uh, I played Diablo 3 so much. Last month, I think. Uh, I just can't do it. I get really addicted to it for a while, and then I have to stop. Yeah. I guess this is kind of how it goes with most things. Same. For me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah. It's probably not <laughs> not that normal. No, it's pretty normal. I'm addicted no, to yeah, I'm like... playing it right now. There's certain games like... that just have that effect. Like melee. It's like you can play it all day and just like lose track of time. You guys have no idea how much Casey and I have played melee, but especially Casey. Like, holy shit! He's got a problem. I think he's got a problem, dude. He I definitely tried. is a problem. <laughs> I'm pretty well, sure, he... and that's oh, coming sorry, from no. me, who's like played with him <laughs> a shit ton. Uh... When he walked in and I saw him, he had that freaking wrist brace. I'm like, oh my god, what did you? Was do? that from melee? Yeah! God, what a dick! <laughs> he plays... <laughs> he okay. hurt his wrist from Melee? I was like, oh my god! He plays the stop. one character that will, like, fuck up your wrists. But he's, like, the best Dr. character Kong. in the game. No. <laughs> Star Fox. <laughs> oh, fuck, I just died. <laughs> Star Fox. Oh. 
If you play any other character in melee, your hands will be fine, but you your hands literally have to be like on fire 24/7 if you like play Fox. Yeah, I don't really I'm, I'm extremely casual. I, I like it that way with <laughs> my Smash <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> I just did yeah. it for fun in college cuz like, I don't know, like it got to the point where playing it was just straight up casual. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, I played against Casey. He's like, this just isn't fun. <laughs> this is this is just too much. <laughs> I can't I can't be bothered, dude. So <laughs> when me and Casey like were originally getting good from like being shitty, um, I like beat him for a solid year. <laughs> he had like <laughs> nothing on me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and um, beat him down, broke his confidence. Yeah, so whenever he plays against like Falcos now, like he's got some kind of mental block where he just like whiffs and like he'll lose. Even though like I know he's got enough like technical skill to like completely beat him. And it's kind of funny cuz it's like it's like come on dude <laughs> <laughs> like I could beat this You've done guy, this. and you did this to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gave him PTSD, <laughs> pretty much, dude. Oh my god, it's crazy. But God, I didn't know this from melee. <laughs> what a dick. yeah, it's yeah, man. I think one uh, time I was playing. Uh, I played basketball, and I. Like, the ball just hit, like, straight into my thumb. It was oh my, my right thumb. And I'm just like, oh, it's just a jam. I'm good. So I came home, and I'm st- it's still jammed. It's, like, three hours later. I'm like, eh, okay, I can play video games. <laughs> so then I'm playing Halo. I go in to click the, uh, like, the the right stick in. And it just, like, sends the shock up my entire arm. And I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> Turns out I, my thumb was broken in two places, and I tore a ligament going <laughs> off. My oh, God. God. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's pretty intense. Yeah, I, I broke my thumbs playing Halo. That's what I tell people. <laughs> it's a lot cooler Classic that way, you know. Halo thumbs. Yeah. What's the worst injury you guys have ever had? Um, I like mm. when I was a kid or whatever. You you remember those like razor scooters or whatever? Yeah, yeah. I hate those things. So <laughs> 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 it'd be funny if I just ended it right there. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, so me and my brother, like I was like seven or eight, and like we were like. He was like, let's race on these or whatever. Is this also why you hate your brother? <laughs> no, like, there's a whole string of stories of why I hate my brother. <laughs> this is one of them, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, we're, like, racing on scooters. And the sideway isn't big enough for, like, the both of us to race. So, he, like, bumps into me. And, like, I fall off my scooter, and the way I fell, I landed on my two front teeth. Oh. oh. Yeah, you like... curb stomped. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, yeah, like, my teeth were bleeding and shit for, like, the whole day, and, uh, like... Did they turn colors, too? No. Because that's what happened to mine when I did something similar. I don't think it was too bad, because, like, the worst that happened was, like, a part kind of, like, chipped out. But, like, it was really small. Um, uh, When I went to the (laughs) dentist one time, like, she actually fixed it for free. Like, all she did was, like, file it down, because she said if, like, I left it, like, it might, like, crack, and, like, my tooth would just be fucked. Somehow filing it down doesn't seem any better. Um, so, yeah, like, like, I guess... I understand how it's good, but... It just seems awful. Yeah, like, (laughs) it it wasn't really bad, you know. (laughs) My cousin and I did something equally stupid with our teeth. Uh, He has a tile floor in his basement. And we're, like, six, and 
like around that age, right? Yeah. Just extremely stupid. So he had a, like a uh, an actual like mattress leaned against the wall, and we had the smart idea to just lay underneath it, put our teeth onto the tile, and let the mat- mattress fall on top of us. Why? <laughs> because yeah. we're stupid. <laughs> That's, that's like above and beyond. Yeah, that's, stupid. That's beyond stupid. <laughs> I can understand my story. Yeah, this <laughs> is an accident. Would... You were this fucking asking for it. <laughs> I don't think. No, 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 no. We didn't. So put what our happened? Teeth to the tile. We didn't put our teeth to the tile. We just kind of laid there. Yeah. So, I'm. I was fine. My cousin ended up. I think like just. I don't know how, but he chipped his tooth. Yeah, and I don't know con- how. Listen, <laughs> it's I don't a know fucking how. mystery. It just happened, okay? <laughs> Our calculations were off by a bit. <laughs> uh, that was yeah. That was a stupid thing that we did. I gave myself a black eye one time. Damn. <laughs> with a with a doorknob. No. Uh, with a fist. No, I. I headbutt the corner of a <laughs> mattress <laughs> of a washing machine. <laughs> Were you with your cousin? No. <laughs> like rooting for you. <laughs> He's like, you got this. You got this. <laughs> we came back. We came back. I think uh, I was just like ten or eleven at this time. I was in like fifth grade. We came back from Cedar Point, and this was. It was like 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning, and I usually never stay up that late, at least at that age. And I went into the, our laundry room, I think, for whatever reason, I think it was like to take off my socks and just kind of like leave them there. And then I, I just like <laughs> lean over and just wham right into the corner. <laughs> it didn't register at that time, uh... but then like I would go to the bathroom... <laughs> I look in the mirror, I see my eyes all swollen and, like, starting to turn, like, purple. And I just, like, cried all night because of it. (laughs) I think I, like, I just, like, stayed in bed a whole next day, too, just because I gave myself a black eye. Got it. Needs his bed rest. (laughs) (laughs) I was playing soccer once, uh, probably, like, seven or eight years old. And, like, I tripped and fell forward, but I was running, too. So, like, I put my hands out to stop myself, oh. but I rolled over my fingers. So, my fin- my fingers on both hands got bent really far back. Oh. And, like, I guess, I don't know, it was horrible. They, they swole up, swolled up real horrible, and I couldn't bend them at all. It was, just like, so painful. I think the worst part, though, is, like, I couldn't play Star Fox 64 because that's all I wanted to do. Oh, you can't man. hold that Nintendo 64 controller with balloon fingers. <laughs> like, uh, uh, oh, I wish that were like the name of a medical condition, like balloon, balloon fingers. fingers. You've got balloon <laughs> fingers. <laughs> oh my god. You have five days to live. <laughs> can't even chop them off. It's just, you're dead. <laughs> you can't play Star Fox 64. God, Star Fox 64 is so fucking hard. I can not beat Andrew. What? Us. Look, I went the hard route where you go all the way across every top stage. Oh, yeah, that's the stupid way. That's why. <laughs> well, like, the final boss <laughs> is, like, completely different, too. Yeah, yeah, I definitely um did not explore all my options. I found the way that worked, and I was like, I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I did the whole perfect thing where, like, you do every mission fucking flawlessly... And then I get there, and Andros, like, turns into, like, a brain and eyeballs, and then he just fucks me over. I thought he always turned into a brain and eyeball. <laughs> I don't think so. Like, he's, he's got like, his... No, he's, he's just a regular head. Face off. Yeah. yeah, it's, like, his head and his, like, hands and stuff, but, like, after that, it's just, like, the brain... Or, yeah, just the brain and eyeballs. Yeah. So it's, like, two fights back to back. Yeah, that's, I think that's that's how it is normally. Really? Because, like... Yeah. Unless I did the same thing and I'm forgetting it. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. I know there were a couple endings in there. Yeah, I was playing, somewhere. like, the 3DS version, and I just got so fucking frustrated. I was, like, at it for, like, two hours. I, I definitely... 
I must have been really good at it as a kid because I remember I went back to it like three or four years ago. I dusted off the N64, and I was like, "How how did I do this in half an hour before?" Because I remember I timed myself once, and I was like, "I think 32 minutes was my record going through it." Damn. So like, I always wondered how I managed to get through the older Pokemon games when I was a kid. Why? Because I I feel like. At least, like some of the, some of the caves were pretty confusing at the time. Yeah, the caves are super fucking confusing. I couldn't even like beat like silver, gold, or crystal. Like I just got lost and was like, I was like, I'm not playing this game. Yeah, but like as a kid, you just kind of put up with that stuff. You just wander around for hours until it works. You don't really understand why. It's just like I'm not going back. That's how it works for me, yeah. anyway. <laughs> I, on the other hand, was like... Um, <laughs> he had better things to do. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> if 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 I didn't get somewhere in, like, five minutes, like, I was just done with it. I was on to the next thing. <laughs> so, like, I'd, like, start games and then, like, never finish them because, like, I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> like, I don't feel like yeah. playing it. I don't know. I play games, but not play them correctly. Like I had, I played the hell out of Majora's Mask, um, but I, all I did really was farm rupees. Like that's just what I did. Start, go back to day one and get all the chests and stuff. It's like that's perfect. I'm done. <laughs> back to day one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the moon. Like I got rupees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, just, it's what I wanted to do. I guess. I really kind of want to go back and actually finish that since it is, you know, masterpiece or whatever. Uh, I tried. I don't know. I think Majora's Mask might be way more interesting than Ocarina of Time, but uh, like, definitely, yeah. I like I melee's like kind of like turned me into some kind of difficulty addict or whatever. So if a game's not like technically hard enough, or there's some other kind of like non-difficulty issue or whatever like i just get bored <laughs> a non-difficulty so like so you're just if not the having fun too... unless you're just like dark souls yeah Damn, well no yeah. dark souls is like a fucking string of memorization like i want like fucking bullet hell shooters or like quick reflex games um what else uh, What's that? Platformers, Mat- Metroidvanias. What's that one bullet? Uh, the Japanese one that's insane. I, I have know, no I idea. Remember. Bullet? Forget, it's, that's too vague <laughs> for, <laughs> for that genre. It's like every Japanese bullet hell game by U.S. standards. That was the one that had like the the Ronald McDonald music. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, I remember seeing that video of, like sixth grade or something. He's like spazzing out around some bench, or <sighs> like some insane music. You know, I'm gonna go see if I can find. <laughs> Ronald McDonald spaz comes up. Did you, you know see, did you see that Eric Andre prank where he dresses up as Ronald McDonald? Yes. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. I'm a failure. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, if you like the difficulty really high, like, did you uh, you just play Mario Kart on 250cc then? Is like the what you do? Um, all the time. It's kind of because different. there's a couple games like I make exception for you know because like if I was like fucking try hard 24 seven, I don't think I could handle it. <laughs> um, well, I'm just I'm just asking because I hate it. I can't handle the 250s too much. Like racing games are kind of different. Like it depends on the mood I'm in, you know. So, like, sometimes I'll play it casually. And, like, other times, like, I don't know. It's been a while since I, like, actually, like, cared about racing games. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying this as like I uh, lead two laps, and then right before the end of the third, I just get uh, you know blue shell, and then lightning, and then red shell, and like, then in like sixth place. Especially Mario Kart, I might, <laughs> <laughs> I, I might have like cared more if um, I I kind of too random. Yeah, I have a big problem with uh, the whole double item thing. Because the way it's set up, double items is just not designed to work with Mario Kart 8. <laughs> I want there to be another double dash. Double dash would be great, but like, since they changed the item probability from distance to first place instead of just pl placing, it gives first place like a significant advantage, especially with the double item boost. <laughs> And then you have all. You also have a higher chance of just completely getting fucked over. <laughs> yeah, so, like, it's, it's all up in the air, basically. So there's like no point in uh -oh. trying to like get good unless like there's either a no items or fewer items. No items would just be boring. So no man, like, don't you get it? You gotta hold on to the coin and then get your item. That's how. There you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the coin's uh, the most uh, frustrating part about the double item. Because uh, it's like, yeah. well, everybody yeah. else is getting double red shell, but I guess a coin will do. <laughs> I get really upset when I drop back to fifth and then they give me like a banana and a green shell. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah, that's why distance from first place sucks in terms of probability. Like, it makes the game more boring. That's why Double Dash was, like, way more fun, because it was kind of like, you had to space it out while also, like, keeping your lead. Fighting Krampus in Mario Kart. <laughs> Mario Kart 8, <laughs> featuring Krampus. The secret, the secret character select. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, it's just not, it's just no good, it's no good. It's fun, you just have to, uh... I actually like 250. You have to break way more than uh, the other modes. And then you also have to do, like, drift breaking or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... I don't know. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. But you kind of have to, like, relearn all the tracks again. It's just... Yeah, mirror mode completely throws me off. Have you actually finished... The whole thing? Have you got three stars and all of it? Uh, I got about a third of the way through. So I just have 250cc to go. I'm so close, kind of. <laughs> I was 200cc, I was thinking it was 250. I really hope there isn't a 250. Hmm. I thought there was, right? Oh, I hope not. I hope there isn't one after this. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's what I was thinking about the other day is the Luigi's Mansion. Like, the from, uh... You ever play the one on the GameCube? Yeah, that one's good. I didn't play it all the way through, unfortunately. I gotta go back and do it. Because, like, yeah. GameCube era was just kind of like... I don't know. I think I think that's definitely, like, my favorite game. Like, I like it. So fun. I just need to, like, go back and, like, play it. And i kind of been spoiled with, like, the whole better graphics thing on emulators and stuff. What you need is uh, to have it on mobile. Mobile? And then you can just play it. Play it wherever. Mobile, like... Oh, like Switch. The Switch. Yeah, yeah, like, if they did Nintendo Virtual Console, I'd probably buy them all for GameCube. Like, Super Mario Sunshine... Um, probably not Wind Waker. I already, I haven't beaten Wind Waker, but I got all the way to the final dungeon and then just kind of stopped. God, I just remembered I used to play uh, Wind Waker, and I didn't have a memory card at the time. Oh man! <laughs> so every freaking day, or every time I wanted to play, it was always new game. That sounds awful. It was awful. <laughs> And on top of that, I rented it from Blockbuster, so I only had it for like seven days. <laughs> <laughs> Blockbuster. <laughs> I can decide what was worse, that or Animal Crossing. 
I loved Animal Crossing. Without a memory card, so you had to start over yeah, every single time. Yeah, that kind of defeats the whole point of Animal Crossing. I know. <laughs> Animal Crossing would definitely be worse, though. Like, you can't you can't make it through a single day. It's like I'm living in Groundhog's Day, but in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. We'll have more items in the shop. <laughs> no, you won't. I know. I've been here before. <laughs> Now I just want to see Groundhog's Day, but with Animal Crossing characters. <laughs> did you just... So I would have just tried leaving it on. I did. And then, I don't know, I was like... In the back of my mind, I was always worried about it, like, catching fire. Mm. I mean, I guess that's a good concern to have as a kid, but still. Yeah, it's I, kind I don't of surprising. Think, I don't think the GameCube was really that stable anyway. <laughs> I leave it on that long. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure I've done it, and I was like, "Oh man, this isn't right." Like I think I, I want to say I've had it overheat once or twice, or it just got like super hot. It's surprising how cheap you can get GameCubes for. Twenty bucks, isn't it? Yeah, twenty bucks a pop. I have three yeah. of them laying around. And I don't even want them. Well, so ship them on over. It seems like I need more of them. <laughs> I have two E's. Three game cubes, a couple of PSPs. Don't forget to uh, to use the handle. What handle? On the back of the GameCube. Oh right, yeah. The one that wasn't that was like perfectly designed to grab, but wasn't supposed to, or something <laughs> like that. Wait, wait, you're not supposed to use that? You're not supposed to grab those. No. What? <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. What is it for? I guess it's cable manager just for show. <laughs> I'm really confused now because that's you're how I've always handled it. You're not supposed to grab those because I think that like breaks the GameCube. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> this now that's a huge design. Hang flaw. on, let me let me look it up. I may be talking out of my ass. He's talking about he's reading one of those Onion articles. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm convinced this run is going to go amazing <clears throat> for Binding of Isaac. Alright, let's see. I'm like so OP right now. A Reddit post. I've heard it before. I know it's a thing. Reddit? Oh, fuck. Hmm. Apparently one of the comic guys is a designer. He said the main purpose of a handle on grounded objects like the GameCube or iMac was to make them feel friendly. <laughs> the fuck? <Wait. laughs> uh, the Switch isn't friendly, I guess. <laughs> no handles. Do you need a handle in that thing, really? Look, to make it friendly, you do. I think it needs a <laughs> strap. Huh. You need a big... <laughs> Big shoulder strap for my switch. Ah. You can carry on like a little purse or something around <laughs> your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> what color GameCube do you guys have? Blue. Like your Zorg. first one. Blue. You mean like purple? Yeah. He means purple. Blue. Yeah. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I have the the silver double dash edition box Whoa. set. Oh, I have no a silver way. one too. This guy was selling his whole GameCube and Wii collection for like 40 bucks. So I really just wanted the copy of Smash Bros. Melee. So I bought the whole thing. Because <laughs> <laughs> the Smash Bros. by itself is worth like 50. And I got like Luigi's Mansion and like a Wii, like two Wii Motes. Like the whole works. This is just crazy. So you know how oh my I God. found it! I can't believe it! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? A little bit. Oh my God. 
Oh, Jesus. It's like, like a chicken. The Discord. <laughs> it's awful. This is this is literally the worst. But I'm gonna <laughs> let you see. Let you see. <laughs> so, what was the point of this video again? Uh, it's from that Japanese bullet hell. As far as I know. Uh, which would, it would make more sense for me to look that up first, but I just want you to know what I know. That's there you go. And to play. Freaking Jesus. What is... I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen it in like ten years. There's five minutes. Do I want to sit through no. this whole thing? No. Oh I don't even God. want to sit through the first, like, four <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most Japanese thing I think I've seen. <laughs> the music actually sounds kind of cool. Well, the music is cool, it's just, it's been made into this. That's... <laughs> oh my god, it's so weird. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Everyone else in the server is going to be like, what the hell is just happening? <laughs> <laughs> Are these real commercial clips? I I think so. I think they are. <laughs> it's like looped. <laughs> I'm a minute 48 in. Oh, I just got to Luigi face. What the hell is happening? Oh, break it down. <laughs> Are you just going to go through the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> this is entertaining. This is nightmare fuel. Yeah, it is. Yeah, man. I mean, there's a reason why I've remembered this for 10 years. <laughs> and they're only seeing like 20 <laughs> seconds of it. <laughs> You need to watch the whole thing. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm trying. I'm uh, I just hit the two minute mark. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> yeah, this is definitely giving me nightmares. <laughs> if you weren't afraid of clowns before, you will be now. Musical clowns. Oh. There's a tiny annotation there. I'm never having McDonald's again. <laughs> He just says, sorry about this part. I don't know what happened. He just... <laughs> Alright. Like the fetuses? No, like, items that make you, like, charge your shots. Because, like, I'd just rather hold the button down. So, if if you go to the Battle.net on, Battle launcher on uh, Overwatch, and look at the Shanghai group stage thing, yeah. it says watch now. If you look at the date where it says July... Does it flicker for you as well? Yeah, it's it's changing like between thirteen and fit. What? Why? Why is it doing that? Thirteen and fifteen and fourteen and sixteen. Yeah, that's weird. I wasn't entirely sure that I was actually seeing it. Like, what is going on? <laughs> it's the it's the music. It's gotta be. Yeah. Oh my it's god! The only it's explanation. done. How many fuses? That? Seventy-three thousand. Oh. I think this is an edit of the original. I just looked at. According to the description, this is the fixed version. <laughs> so apparently, whatever it used to be was worse. <laughs> Mick rolled. Oh, that's yeah. That's probably it. Four point nine million. I'm let. I'm leaving that one alone though. <laughs> You can you could check it out if you want. So there's 
Ronald McDonald Insanity and Mick Rolled. Ronald McDonald Insanity has 11 million. I'll watch that one. Oh, okay. I think this is the original. 2008. The Insanity one? Yeah. It's a different pitch. Same video, though. Yeah, it isn't quite right, is it? <laughs> After listening to the last one. Actually, there's two. That McRold is January 13, 2008. Ronald McDonald and Sanity is... It's January 1st. Oh. It's the original. It's a repost. Uh. All right, guys. I'm going to go to bed. All right. See you. See you. <laughs> See that, no. that concludes our podcast. Hang on, I'm, I'm going to post the, uh, the original in, uh, <laughs> in the Discord right there after the other one. So, uh, no other context other than 10 minutes, <laughs> ten minutes <laughs> of Ron. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. We'll see you. See <laughs> Somehow this doesn't really seem fitting for the wind down podcast. So. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> this, is, nah, this, is, this is how we wind down. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's funny that I have to ask that. Like, I know. It's... <laughs> uh, freaking. Oh, I still have my Google image search of sexy desk when I was going to post that when it was relevant. <laughs> sexy desk. Yeah, uh, I was sounds looking... like an '80s TV show. <laughs> I was looking for a good one, but they're all well, they're all too sexy. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Just sexy enough. <laughs> I'm I'm searching sexy. Okay. Well, like for example. <laughs> I was getting stuff like this, and it wasn't. It wasn't so much about the desk. It's not. It's not what I want. <laughs> you know, it's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> I just wanted a sexy desk. That's all. It's a stock photo. <laughs> How is that a stock photo? <laughs> Well, I mean, they ha there has to be one of everything, right? <laughs> I mean, it's got... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right, that's, that's a good wind down, I think. <laughs> <laughs> is this actually... Was this actually recorded? Yes, recorded all of this. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, is did did old Ronnie make it into the? <laughs> did he make it into the podcast? Can um, you hear it? Well, the, yeah, the audio did, but uh, all oh, okay. the video is uh, just a picture of a sloth. No, it's a oh, koala. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> what is this? So I'm gonna have to like edit it. Oh, <laughs> Jake found a sexier desk. <laughs> no, it's way worse. Why? Who makes this? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> What? Like, this is just really upsetting to me. <laughs> this is so upsetting. <laughs> These poor women. <laughs> you know that's there for someone's fetish. Oh my god. <laughs> they can't even... Oh, awful. <laughs> they weigh like a thousand pounds. Thunder thighs. <laughs> <laughs> this is so accurate. It's really accurate. The podcast listeners just have to use their imagination. <laughs> no, well, I'll, I'll have to it. edit it in. It's doable. No, I like it. No, I like that they have to think. <laughs> All right, <laughs> completely in the dark. Some of it, some of it, I'll uh, I'll leave to their imagination. It's <laughs> oh, so good. Sexy desk clip art? <laughs> it's not... 
<laughs> it's not any better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember who wanted the desk. I, I wanted the desk. <laughs> you wanted the desk, okay. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> this, is too, this is too entertaining. <laughs> it's, I've, I've got like my second win from this this Google search. <laughs> Not the Ronald McDonald. I think it started with the the Ronald McDonald stuff. Yeah. Well, I did get really excited when I found it. <laughs> oh, this one's got furries on it. It's <laughs> gross. I don't think I've ever met a normal furry person. I don't know that I've ever met one. Are you talking like the people that wear like those those tails on their belt loops or whatever? Yeah, not, not just that, but people that are <laughs> into furries, animals. See now, <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward. To people just finding these three images now. <laughs> In consecutive. <laughs> I think the last one's like Gary's Mod or something. Yeah, it looks like it. Welcome to Gary's Mod. Welcome to my <laughs> sexy table. <laughs> Welcome to the sexy table. <laughs> Check out my lamp. It's got a... It's just a table. There's nothing else in that picture. Like... Around it, it's yeah. I mean, it's there's nothing there. You have just to walk for miles to get to the table. <laughs> it's just like it goes to infinity, and then there's a table. It is a little suggestive, isn't it? How is that suggestive? It suggests, okay. <laughs> it suggests. Ah, <laughs> it's a sexy table. <laughs> it's if a that's... pretty sexy table. If that's the only thing for miles, it's not even that good looking. It's just a gray block on, on other gray blocks. Oh, everything's awful. <laughs> you want some uh, phone lips? I'm not posting these. It's just <laughs> some <phone>. giant, <laughs> giant lips that are actually a telephone. The world's most expensive table, $50,000. Is it made out of um, wood? Oh, I was gonna say like amethyst. <laughs> <laughs> you cut open a geode. Ooh. Oh fuck! Oh, well, looks like they do have those amethyst tables. Some kind of crystal. Amethyst. Yeah, I spelled that horribly wrong. Amethyst table. I oh, know they do make them. Look at that. You should get one of these. This is way better than what I was looking at. This one's got flowers. It's like a complete tone shift. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in a... We're in a better place now. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, we went oh. through hell to get here. <laughs> <laughs> you had to go through furries in Gmod to get to this. Yeah, all, the, all the actual tables I saw under sexy tables were just like regular coffee tables. That's not really what I... I figured that that wouldn't help you at all. You know, <laughs> you have that space problem, like, yeah, this isn't yeah, going to yeah. work. Which actually, looking at it, this is just another coffee table, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. But it looks cool. Yeah. It's, it's a thought starter. Yeah. I mean, had you considered before getting an amethyst table? No. I mean, it's, I guess it might not be in your budget. I don't know your budget. <laughs> it depends how much the <laughs> amethyst table costs. Um, vintage amethyst table. $4,500 uh, for this? Is it first edition holographic? It's a Tony Duquette. Oh my if god. That... <laughs> no way. Tony Duquette? That, that guy. Means anything, yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is. Okay. So the one that I was looking at is actually like a whole amethyst table. 
This guy is sell, trying to sell one for seven thousand dollars. It's a regular coffee table with a random amethyst geo just kind of spliced in. <laughs> like, I don't know why I care so much now, <laughs> but it just it looks really funny to me. You can kind of see it in that tiny image. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, who thought that was a good idea? It's a lot of effort for what you're getting. <laughs> $7,000. Yes, I love this item. Good job, Tony. Oh, no, 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 wait. That's no, not that's, Tony. That's not Tony Duquette. The that's, Tony Duquette uh, one is the one that's uh, way better. This one's Philippe Barber. <laughs> Philippe Barbier. <laughs> yeah, it's not really Philippe. good. Philippe? Philippe? Philip. Phil Barb. <laughs> Things I never thought I'd be Googling at 2 in the morning. Or ever. Oh, Sexy man, Amethyst that table. Binding of Isaac run sure was good. Did they, you um? Did you do it? Yeah, I killed, like, Ultra Greed. <laughs> uh, some of these cutscenes are pretty gruesome. The whole thing, the whole thing is disgusting. It's just one <laughs> bloody, rotten mess to the next. From the, like, four minutes of it I've seen. Yeah. I've almost got a phone, guys. Nice. I'll have one tomorrow. No I've way. Had, I've had the phone for a week now. Who's your carrier? <laughs> it's just track phone <laughs> oh, okay. I, don't, I don't use my phone enough to ever you know want to actually spend money on it i spent 400 on a uh one plus three and it's basically on par with the s7 so i was like you know damn like i'll never need a phone again for only 400 bucks <laughs> well until you wash it that's what i did to mine i washed my phone <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> stuck it, stuck it in the washer. <laughs> the the really upsetting part is that I carry stuff in both of my pockets, and I emptied everything out of both of my pockets except the phone. It's like how I'm just I was so mad. <clears throat> I'm, actually, I'm still mad. Oh my god, guys! Incredibles two will pick up right after the first movie. Yeah, we've known that. <laughs> Wait, like <laughs> right after? Yes. <laughs> Hasn't that movie been out for like five years? Incredibles 2. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. No, Incredibles 2 has been out for five years. Like the... It has not. Oh. The first Incredibles came out in like 2001. Yeah. It did it? I don't believe that. That's Shrek times. I don't, I don't believe <laughs> that's that. That's the right timeline. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Incredibles. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> 2004. Oh. So, you know. <laughs> that was close. But yeah. That is the, insanely close. The though. next one picks up where the first one left off, and we've known that for years. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you how did you know? Like, they've said it. <laughs> but, how'd you know? I knew this in high school. He knew, he knows director Brad Bird. <laughs> Brad Bird. <laughs> Uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> Brad Bird on Sesame Street. Uh, oh, they already got uh, Samuel L. Jackson in there. Is nice. he awesome? Yeah, it's Frozone. The uh, the bodyguard. I think it's called the Hitman's Bodyguard or whatever. That looks pretty good. That's I want to see Baby there. Driver. Yeah, I was, I don't know, I was going to see it in theaters, but then I was like, I was like, eh. I could just watch it online later. Well, like, That's the, what I'm probably gonna do. the Imagine Canton is like, it's five bucks if you go before 5 p.m. So this movie does not look like at all what I pictured it was going to be. Baby Driver? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I was thinking more in line with that with that movie. What was that like? Boss Baby. <laughs> <laughs> what is a movie with uh, The Rock? And he's he's like an ex-military guy, and he has to take care of a small child. 
<laughs> Are you thinking Ooh, of uh, Vin Diesel? I don't think I'm thinking of Vin Diesel. The the pacifier. Uh, yes. There's a whole string of movies. There's the Pacifier, Pacifier Two. I, actually, I think it is. I think it might be the back. Pacifier. <laughs> I I don't know. I could have sworn it wasn't this guy. I think The Rock has. Th doesn't he have something similar? <laughs> the, the Tooth Fairy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. It's got to be. It's got to be the Pacifier. That's got to be it. Yeah, I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of Vin Diesel. Sorry, they're just they. They have the same physique. Across. They're both bald. Both have muscles. Have muscle on there, yeah. yeah. Ah, fuck. Apparently, do kids' smacked. movies. Oh, this I is a thriller uh, drama. What happened to Rob Schneider? Did he like retire? Uh, I don't know. Like I don't know, is he coming back for Grown Ups 4 or whatever when they're on? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Did they do 3? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think they did. There's a trailer. There's a oh, trailer for Grown God. Ups 3. Oh, this is a fake movie trailer. Sorry to get your hopes up. Hang on. Well, they're making a new Shazam movie. I don't. What is that? Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Shazam movie. Captain Marvel. Spider-Man Homecoming was really funny. I like that. You saw it? Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. It doesn't really have many superhero action scenes, but, like, considering what it is, like, it shouldn't. Uh, I, don't, because... I don't know. I can't really do... Superhero movies. I watched Spider Man 2 Lost in New York and it just wasn't any good. Which one is that? Like. <laughs> That's the one where Spider Man. Um, you can't even you get... finish it. You're, you're giggling <laughs> while saying the joke. It's because. <laughs> I was just imagining him in the freaking limo getting pizza. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what happens to Home Alone. <laughs> Oh. He gets he gets in the, the limo. He's like, "Take me to the toy store." <laughs> what? And he gets he gets what a, a, a cheese pizza all to himself. Jeez. And I was picturing Spider Man, a full grown Spider Man, in the same scenario. I just couldn't keep <laughs> I couldn't keep it up. <laughs> how? <laughs> how? How do what? you how do you get to that? Thought process. I guess it's you know it's two thirty. So have you, I, it's have you like, ever watched Tim and Eric? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, please, please watch it. It's so good. But that's like where all was... of my humor comes from. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly because it was Spider Man Two. <laughs> Spider Man Two Lost in New York just sounds it flows right off the tongue. Spaghetti and the Golden Arc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Richard Dunn, hair voyant. That's I think that's one of my favorite sketches on that show. I just recently rediscovered that one. I, I don't think I've watched that one. Oh my god! All right, let me look. It I've up. seen um, what is it? Oh, fuck! You're gonna be a weird looking old man. <laughs> Richard Dunn, hair voyant. The Cinco products are pretty classic. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Yeah, check it out. It's Richard Dunn's bald face predictions. <laughs> oh man, the thumbnail's already good. <laughs> but yeah, Spider Man uh, Homecoming is pretty much riddled with like <laughs> almost Tim and Eric humor. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's it was really shocking. Well, then maybe I'll have to watch it. Yeah, like... <laughs> it's it's not as extreme, but, like, it definitely, like, almost gets you there. Alright. Well, I'm gonna I'm go off. I'll watch this thing, and then I'll probably get off, because I have to drive tomorrow. Ugh. So you had a sister. <laughs> I do. A sister with arms. But I have to drive there first. 
Oh, I guess it's my Richard sister. Richard Dunn's bald face prediction. Where Richard Dunn <laughs> predicts your son's you bald spot. <laughs> All right. So examining your boy fun. head, so I'm gonna figure out where your Solid bald spots are gonna be. <laughs> Pretty good. You're going to be Definitely. real bald, son. See ya. See ya. I'm not just a predictor of baldness, I'm also an artist. <laughs> I'm also an artist. He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even say, say I'm also an artist. <laughs> This is the ball spot that I could take it for you. <laughs> am, am I done? Oh no boy, we're not done yet. I predicted more ball spots, this time in the front of your head. <laughs> You're gonna be a weird looking old man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can go home today and talk to your brothers and sisters, your mom. And show up this is what you're gonna look like as a man. <laughs> he looks like a friar. <laughs> and it ain't pretty. You can come and see me every week. We'll board you That's out. So good. <laughs> Harry lips. God. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> I gotta get off. <laughs> I'll yeah, <me> see ya. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. Thank you.